harness racing grew up with America, dependent on the horse as the linchpin of exploration, transportation, defense, and commerce. 150 years ago, when almost everyone had a horse, harness racing started as a friendly competition on country roads and city streets to see who had the fastest horse. Many towns had a race street where friendly competition was keen. Driving clubs were formed to organize races at local parks, and harness racing was a staple of county fair entertainment. The same horse that was used for harness racing brought families to church, goods to market, and cleared land for planting. In the mid-1800s, a registry was formed, and any horse who could meet a time standard for trotting or pacing a mile could be registered. Thus, the term standard bred was coined. Today's harness racing horses trace their ancestry back to Hambletonian, father of 1,300 standard breds and namesake of the classic trotting race. For the first several decades of the 1900s, harness racing flourished in small town America, with racing most often found at county fairs and short meets near big cities, where differences of opinions made for a brisk betting business. After World War II, the world changed and racing changed along with it. With no war to fight, iron and steel and labor were available to build large, permanent grandstands. Americans had more leisure time and money to spend having fun. Harness racing under the lights moved to the big cities and offered affordable evening entertainment close to home for millions. Today, harness racing is found from California to Maine, from upstate New York to Florida. Racing fans can indulge their pleasure in South America, Europe, and on the other side of the world in Australia and New Zealand. A difference of opinion in any language will always make for a horse race. We hope you'll join us for more information about harness racing, this uniquely American sport, through this video series, and check us out on the web at ustrotting.com.